Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Stephanie and I like to film makeup tutorials. Um, I am wearing a mic today. I don't normally do that, but I'm just testing this out to see how better quality I can make the sound for you guys. Um, today I'm putting myself to the test and I'm doing a bridal makeup look. I'm going to do a glam, nice and bronzy, very simple, not too dark. I'm going to see what I can do for a makeup look um, that's bridal-esque. And uh, if you're excited to come on this journey with me and see how this makeup look turns out, then uh, just keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, let me know down below what you would like to see for the next makeup tutorial. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alrighty guys, to start off this bridal glam, I did curl my hair just to give that sort of look. Um, but you know how it is, we are going to pin back this hair because just behind the ears doesn't do it. Um, I also wanted to just mention again, these are the same clips from the last video, um, but we do have lots more. If you want to check us out on Facebook at Little Lux Designs or Instagram at Little Lux Designs, where you can find lots of hair clips, um, scrunchies, uh, earrings, like we do lots of different stuff. And um, we've been doing a lot of face masks as well. Um, since the pandemic. So yeah, if you're interested in any of that little self promo there, go check out our Facebook page. So to start off, I'm going to go in with my brow pencil here, going in with the She Glam brow pencil. And I was going to go back to my pomade. Um, I don't know if you guys seen my previous video where I unboxed She Glam makeup. And I did talk about this particular brow pencil. And I just said that um, I found it was very uh, light and I do like that, but I'm used to the Anastasia dip brow, which really gives me a full brow. But I'm actually going to go look, going for a nice um, soft look today with this bridal makeup. So we're going to go back to the She Glam. I eventually will return to my trusty Anastasia. But for now, let's start with this. And I'm just going to speed through this um, when I edit this because, like I said, same brows every single time I do them. Nothing's changing. Alrighty, so I'm finished with the She Glam brow pencil and now I'm going to use this brow gel by Anastasia and I'm just going to set my brows in place. Um, I don't do this every day but where this is a bridal makeup I'm going to treat this as um, it's my wedding day and I want my brows to stay in place and all the brow hairs to look nice and defined. So I'm just going to sweep through those and using my trusty CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer and I'm going to use this to carve out my brows. Alrighty, so I've prepped my lids and I have fixed my underneath my brows there and I'm just going to go in with a little bit of setting powder and a fluffy brush just to set that in place for eyeshadow. I'm looking for a very matte coverage look today. I don't want to be shiny, um, especially as if I was getting pictures done for my wedding. So, by the way, I'm not getting married anytime soon, but um, this is, we're treating it as if it was the wedding day. That's how I am looking at this look. Um, and I have done bridal makeup before, I will say, on my sister. And if it's okay with her, I will insert some photos of her on her wedding day and how her makeup looked. Um, but as minimal products as possible, and I'm going to work from one eyeshadow palette. Um, which is this palette here, the Topes palette by Juvia's Place. I felt this is really nice cool tones. There's some nice glittery shades in there. So I'm going to try and create my look from just this palette. And I'm hoping that these cool tones don't look too dark. So I feel like I can create a nice smoky eye with these that will be acceptable for a wedding day. So let's give this a go. So I'm going to go in with this shade here, which is like a nice light brown transition shade. And I'm just going to take that in my crease. Like I said, I've never used this palette before, but I know they're very pigmented. I'm looking for a very nice, soft look. We want that pigmentation, but we don't want it to be dark. 
This is a very nice bronzy looking shade. Alrighty, so now that I have that color in the crease, I'm then going to dip into this warmer, the warmer toned brown up in the corner here. I'm a little bit scared to use this color. I'm not too sure if we will, but let's get into this deeper brown shade. And I'm going to use that to smoke out the crease, but not too much. Like I said, we're going for a very natural bridal look. Built that up in the crease and I'm liking it so far because I feel like it's not too dark. So I am going to dip into a little bit of this shade here. And I don't think they have shade names. Yeah, they don't say it on this part. Um, I, I think the bigger palettes do have shade names by this, by Juvia's Place. But yeah, so I'm going to dip into that darker tone and I'm just going to blend that in the crease as well. Alrighty, so it's still looking very soft, but we do have that cool tone brown in there. So now I'm actually going to go back in with this brown here again and just kind of make it a little bit more warm. Alrighty, next I'm going to go in with just a clean brush and I'm just going to diffuse that line up towards my brow. I'm not trying to bring it up too high. I just want some nice soft edges. Um, since this is a bridal look, you are going to get lots of photos taken. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to blend, blend, blend. Alrighty, so now our next question is, is which glitter do we want to use? So I'm going to swatch all three of them on my hand, and then I'm going to decide which one I feel is most bridal, and uh, we'll see which one we choose. So first I'm going to swatch this shade right here. Let's see if we can swatch this on my hand. So this is a very, like... It really didn't look like that on my finger, but it's a very um, warm toned glitter. The next shade I'm going to swatch is the darkest one here. Um, this one looks like very like gunmetal sort of color. Let's give that a swatch. It looks very um, cool tone compared to this one here. Um, like I said, it looks quite different than what it looks like in the pan. And then lastly, we're going to swatch this one here, which is sort of like a champagne-y gold look. I'm really feeling the one in the center. It was the darkest one in the palette, but I feel like it's more bridal-esque. So I'm going to go with that one. So I'm just going to take that color on my finger, build that up nicely, and I'm going to add that to my lid. Alrighty, so I have added actually a mixture of all three of those glitters on my lid. I'm not going to lie, this is not popping enough for me. Um, I usually do darker looks, um, but something is just not right. It's kind of throwing me off a bit. Um, I feel like I just need a little bit more of definition in the crease. Too many of the colors look the same, so I am going to dip into another palette. I was trying to stay with one palette so it would be an easy tutorial, but I am going to dip into the Chocolates palette by Juvia's Place. Now, this is a darker palette, but I'm thinking of just going in with this sort of brown color here just to give myself a little bit more warmth because it is pretty cool toned the look I have going on right now so I'm just going to add a little bit of that in the crease and hopefully that will fix it and I'm really hoping that I do not mess this up <laughs> this brown looks very pigmented so I'm just going to dust that off wow let's just give a little bit warmth to my crease that is exactly what i needed Alrighty, i'm super happy with that warm tone brown i just added but uh bridal look isn't glam enough without a little bit of glitter so i have some choices 
This is actually what I used on my sister for her wedding and on her bridesmaids. Um, we just added a little bit of this glitter um, to their face and also to like the shoulders and stuff wherever your dress is uh, showing. Um, we went with some of this and it really just you know it just it just made a whole lot of difference um, but yeah I also have this pack of different glitters that I've collected I've just put them in this container and I'm gonna look through and see if I can have anything in here that's not going to affect the look too much but just gonna add a little bit more of a spark alrighty so this is a little bit more pinky tone I forgot to mention that um, this just added a little bit extra to my lids you can't really see it that much but I can definitely see up close that it has made a difference um, but I'm also going to dip into my glitters here and I'm gonna take this NYX pigment which is a little bit more on the silver side but I feel like it's just something I um, a little pop that we need for this look so I'm actually just going to dip my finger into that and I'm just going to add that on my eye wow that just made so much of a difference alrighty so I may have went a little bit overboard with that glitter but to be honest when I think of wedding I think of a nice shimmery eye and I feel like this just looks really really pretty I'm going to clean up underneath the eyes but I thought that I would add a little bit of black towards the waterline and then I'm gonna smudge it out with a bit of brown I don't want too dark of a winged liner um, I'm going to do this part off of camera and I'll be right back to smudge it out with some shadow alrighty so I did just put a little bit of that eyeliner on and I'm just going to smudge that out a little bit with this small winged liner brush alrighty so I've already smudged this one out just a bit just using the brush no um, shadow just yet and I'm just trying to create this very light winged effect without going too dark like I said this is a wedding look and I'm just kind of messily smudging it but like we're not going for a grungy look here we're going for very soft the chocolates palette and I'm just going to go over that just a little bit just to warm up that brown that I that black sorry the black liner that I put on there um, I totally forgot about this stuff this uh, I totally forgot I wanted to do this step um, but we will just go back in with that glitter and just touch it up alrighty I'm really liking how this is looking so far I just have this very um, you can tell it's there sort of liner but it's very warm and um, very like sultry looking it's it's very bridal um, but I am going to go back in with that shimmer and just touch up there so whereas I rubbed and smudged that liner um, It did move around the glitter a lot. So I'm just going to touch that up. Um, But I'm starting it with concealer underneath my eyes just to clear up my under eye Alrighty now that that is nice and sharp looking. I'm then going to take my foundation and I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. This is my favorite foundation. I use this every single day. Um, one thing I would suggest when doing uh, bridal makeup is testing it out, having a trial. Um, if you're doing it yourself or if you were having a family member do it, um, because if otherwise if you had a makeup artist, they probably would um, test it out regardless. Um, but yeah, it's always good to be like, I need to do a trial run of this because you never know, you might try something that you really thought was going to be good and then you find out that it's not really what you wanted. And once you start doing it on your makeup, uh, start doing your makeup on your wedding day, you know, if you're in a time crunch, there's really no going back, um, unless you start your makeup way ahead of time um, but yeah so I did my sister's makeup for her wedding day like I said in the beginning and I think it was two nights before um, we did sort of a trial run to see what she liked and didn't like and she was able to show her husband 
what and see what he thought um, my sister doesn't wear a whole lot of makeup so she really wanted something simple and that is what I tried to give her for her wedding day um, she did request lashes um, for her wedding day and just a nice soft brown look um, I think I did a little something a little bit more um, glittery and like more um, silver than anything but I did do like a bronzy crease for her I know that um, but I think her look turned out a little bit more silver I think we did use um, the this one here is not the one I'm thinking of um, this one the Stila one um, but we didn't this is the sparkly champagne color it's actually called mm -hmm. smoldering satin um, but we didn't use the champagne one we used the same stick but um, in this like silver glitter look um, this is not the same brand but yeah that's what we end up going with for her eyes and I felt like it turned out really really well I feel like that's exactly what she wanted for her eye look and I mean she didn't say anything different to me but I think she really liked it and that was when I first started doing makeup um, and she was like yes you can do my makeup for my wedding and I was super excited I even helped it with some of the bridesmaids but yeah um, it's very important that you do a test trial make sure that you like everything and um, that everything turns out perfect on your day um, I just am showing you this glitter that I did put on her eyes and I'm thinking I'm going to put a little bit of that on my eyes just for a little pop I think I might do that just because it's looking a little bit flat I'm gonna try it and see what I like already we're back um, off camera I just added a little bit more of this shimmer dust that I put on from NYX and now I'm definitely moving to the face I'm leaving the eyes alone I just wanted to add um, I just wanted to even out the glitter a little bit that I put on um, so I'm going to go in with my bronzer and I'm going to bronze up my face which I do not recommend doing on your wedding day um, I'm going to try this milk makeup um, blush but it's a cream blush and I just thought that that was a really pretty natural color so what I think I'm gonna do is just rub a little bit of that on the back of my hand I know it looks a little bit crazy um, but then I'm going to just take my finger um, and tap that and then I'm gonna blot it on my cheeks Alrighty, so I'm really liking the way that cream blush is looking, um, but one thing I do want to do really quickly um, is just set underneath my eyes so there's no creasing. I am noticing a bit of creasing now, so I just want to set it before it gets any worse. I'm just going to set underneath the eyes. Alrighty, and now I'm going to go in with my contour and sculpt out my face trying to create a very natural look and next I'm going to again go back in with some powder and I'm just going to set my t-zone Alrighty, lastly for my eyes, I'm going to go back into this palette and take that brown shade just very lightly on that same brush that I used to smudge that eyeliner look. And I'm just going to go underneath my eyes and just kind of smoke out my lower lash line. Alrighty, so I applied mascara off of camera. I feel like it just really completed the eyes. Um, I probably would put on false lashes if I was doing this makeup for my wedding day, but my lashes that I normally put on are magnetic lashes and to do the magnetic lashes you need to put on black liner. I chose not to put that on in this video, but you could put um, false lashes on if you choose to.
Alrighty, the final thing I'm going to do for the face is add a little bit of highlighter. This is the e.l.f. highlighter in Moonlight Pearls. And I'm just going to dust that up on my cheekbones. You can put as little as or as much highlight if you, as you'd like. I'm going for a very soft look, but I do want it to look like my cheeks are glowing. A little bit on my nose and my forehead. Look, um, we need to do the lips. I don't wear a lot of lipstick, but um, I definitely would want to wear some sort of nude lip on my wedding day. Nothing too bright, too fancy. I am going to definitely go in with this Morphe Crushed Lip Liner, um, which is a little bit dark. And then I'm deciding um, between a few liquid lips. Um, so I have these matte liquid lips. These are just from my local drugstore. Um, they don't have a name brand on them, uh, but they're very nice matte liquid lips. This one's more of a tanny nude and this is more of a peachy nude um, and then I've got this gloss here which I might try out which is a very nice like peachy coral nude um, but I also from my last video actually you'll be probably no nope, you will be seeing that one before this one um, but yeah um, from that video I do have this Jeffree Star liquid lip vault um, I'm just going to I think test out a couple different lips and see which ones I like the most. Um, I definitely think I want to go for a more brownie nude than pink nude. Um, so let's give it a go. First, I'm definitely going to do some lip liner. I definitely feel the shade is really nice as well. You could, it's a little bit more on the purpley nude side, but I definitely feel like you could wear this all over your lips. That isn't the color I'm going for today. So I will just be outlining my lips with this. Alrighty everyone, in the end I did go with a celebrity skin, just a little bit over top of the original color I did. I just felt like it was a little bit too dark and I wanted to brighten it up a little bit and I feel like this really matches with the eyes. So I'm going to go change it into something bridal-esque and I'll be right back. Alrighty everyone, I did change it into something a little bit more white. I'm really excited to finally be finished this makeup look. I really like how it turned out. And um, thank you so much for watching this bridal glam video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would be really, really great. Um, I thank you for watching this and I hope you have the best day.